Well, here we are at the beginning of the causeway that heads out to Cana Island. Cana Island is the home to one of the most popular lighthouses here in Door County called Cana Island Lighthouse. And today we're going to check that out. Let's go! Now, if you're going to be coming out here to Cana Island, make sure you wear comfortable and very athletic shoes. The causeway here is pretty rocky. Fortunately, the water is low enough right now that it doesn't cover this causeway, so you're not going to get wet walking over to Cana Island, but you will at least experience a fairly rocky hike. But believe me, it's well worth it. Now once you get on the island, the trails are definitely much easier to navigate. They've laid down a nice little bed of mulch, and that's what you walk on. And speaking of trails, the view as you're walking this trail to the lighthouse, pretty spectacular. Well, Cana Island Lighthouse was built in 1869 on this small rocky island along the shoreline of Lake Michigan, a couple of miles north of Bailey's Harbor. It was operated by a lighthouse keeper for 75 years, and in 1944 it actually was automated by the U.S. Coast Guard. Cana Island itself is owned by the County of Door, but the Door County Maritime Museum takes care of the grounds and manages the museum that's located within the lighthouse. Let's go check it out. Well, we are here right now with Mike Chisholm. He's the uh, acting lighthouse keeper for today. Mike, how you doing? Just fine, thank you. Now, Mike, what do you guys have to see and do in, inside here? Okay, if you take the tour of our house, you would start out in the lower part, in the, in the rear here, where you'd find the keeper's pantry and the keeper's kitchen. These two rooms are the, keep, the keeper's living room and parlor, which we have converted into a gift shop, as you can see. Back here to the left, you will find the keeper's office. There's an audio back there, as well as some pictures to look at. And up on the second floor, you will find four rooms. There will be a history room, a family room. There's two videos up there, which are very short but very interesting. There's pictures to look at and there's text to read, and I'll be available down here if you have any questions. Okay, this is a bulb changer. It's located up in the third order Fresnel lens on top of the tower. The bulb on top is the one that's illuminated. If it should burn out, this little bulb changer takes a quarter of a turn counterclockwise, and this bulb comes up and starts being illuminated. So there's one burning and there's three spares up in the tower. The bulb that's up in the tower, as you can see I'm holding in my hand, is about the size of my little finger. And this bulb is 250 watts, and the range out in Lake Michigan in the evening, depending upon weather conditions, is 15 to 18 miles that the light can be seen. They got a neat little interactive display here that shows you how a prism works and it'll help you understand how a 250 watt light bulb the size of your pinky can shine 15 to 18 miles. After I watched the two videos, I took a look at some photographs and read some other information and then headed back outside. Now the lighthouse tower that's right behind me here is about 90 feet tall and you'd have to climb 97 steps to get to the top to the watch room. Now because this is still an active lighthouse, the tower itself is only open for tours one weekend a year and that's during the annual Door County Lighthouse Walk that's held the third weekend in May. No trip to Cana Island is complete without a quick walk along the shoreline. Now one thing not to forget when you come out here to Cana Island is your camera. As you might imagine, there's all sorts of great photo ops out here. 